the liver king, a guy that got really famous for eating raw meat and supposedly getting a super ripped aesthetic body from it. Definitely not on any, you know, physical enhancements, just straight eating raw meat and working out. Uh, I, I don't know why a lot of people thought that was real, but they did. And uh, apparently when it came out that it's not true, he did an apology video. Now, PewDiePie is going to rate his apology video and I'm just here for the ride. Let's get into it. Liver King! Oh, so strong. Liver lies, that's what you are. Mm. Another fitness influencer lying. How Surprise. about that? <laughs> the Liver King! <laughs> no! What? He's not natural. <laughs> He's been exposed. I can't believe it. Oh. I was gonna make a video on him a while ago. I just didn't think it was that interesting, but mm. I guess I was wrong. He has almost 2 million followers on Instagram now. He kind of blew up actually. His whole shtick is to mimic this ancestral living of eating raw meats and livers specifically. The only thing I saw that was that he apparently sleeps on wood with no mattress. Three, the place that needs to be. As Very uncomfortable. Be. You guys can see, see that we sleep on the ground. We have just a little box that I built just out of some wood to create some elevation so that the moisture, the humidity in Houston doesn't. It's all about this health and pureness. He doesn't have any. Man, maybe I need to step up my reaction game. PewDiePie over here, he has music. You know, he's going from uh, this screen to this screen. He has the. Then again, he has an editor. I don't have an editor. Well, I could have one. I just, I just don't want to, but. Ah, let's, let's continue. Wi-Fi in his house. And he openly says many times he does not take steroids. Sure. Yeah, fucking right. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Remember what I said. If they, if they don't look natural. They're not. They're not natural. I mean, I've never heard PewDiePie say that, but that's obvious. A lot of people think you can get super ripped without doing any physical enhancements whatsoever. That's not true. That's not the case. You can Google like... 1930s world's strongest man before steroids was even invented and he looks like every other like guy that works out in the gym like he looks like a normal person that works out in the gym not like liver king over here or coach greg you know coach greg has said many times that he's done you know physical enhancements and he constantly preaches that no matter how hard you work out no matter how good your diet is you'll never ever look like him unless you get into physical enhancements it's true a lot of people will not look like this like your genetics has to be out the wall insane for you to get anywhere close to looking like this without using steroids at least one time not a thing not a thing natural but of course like any scumbag influencer he sells supplements of course that's right that's the secret bro i swear every influencer always selling some shit always how come every gym influencer is selling different things it, it doesn't make any sense yeah you all look the same you're all selling the same shit i don't i don't understand it oh no like you're selling different stuff but you all look the same and it's always you know some other shit that you came up with oh i came up with this i came up with that this is makes you look good you feel good so does every other fitness influencer stuff. They all do the same thing, apparently, yet they're all different. Yet you all look the same. I don't understand it. I think it's a scam, honestly. It's a waste of money. You can get, you can look good without taking any supplements, taking any steroids. You can look good. Will you look amazing, fantastic like Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, never. Will you look like Greg Doucette? No. Never. Will you look like more place, more dates? No, never. You will never, ever look like that just being natural. I've weight lifted for about a year just naturally. The only thing I ever take is whey protein. I look like a normal fucking person. I stopped working out for probably a week and a half. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm decent. You know, I'm nothing crazy. But I will never look crazy. Even if I worked out for like 10 years straight, I will never look super amazing you'll be like damn yeah he works out definitely but you'll never see me with my shirt off eight pack abs chest super huge triceps biceps you know all this other shit you'll never see all that no matter how hard you work out without taking any supplements or steroids and that's normal and it's fine a lot of people get bummed out they're like man i wish i could look like this person to look like that you gotta do stuff to your body you can't just naturally look like that 
and it's very dangerous taking steroids. I've thought about it. I thought literally, I was like, damn, I really should probably, you know, try it one time, two times. Yeah, it gets addicting. Like you'll see the gains and then you'll want to do more and then you'll do more and then you'll do more. And then soon enough, the cycles you take isn't enough. So you're taking higher dosage at a more frequent time. Now you look absolutely ripped, but you also have a lot of side effects, a lot of health issues, and it's honestly not worth it. Either you work out and you look fine for the rest of your life, or you take steroids, you look freaking amazing, but as soon as you stop taking them, your gains start going away. It's up to you whether you want to choose it. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not your dad. Do what you want. Gee, I wonder why he lied about not being natural. It's... Hmm, I wonder why. God damn, $124. You guys are crazy. One review, and it's five stars. <laughs> God. All right. We'll get into it. He was exposed and leaked email from the channel More Plates, More Dates. Derek exposed. And finally, he came out and admitted it with an apology video. So we're going to have to watch it. And I will review it as an epic apology maker myself. Mm. Primals. Yeah. Felix has made probably like three or four apology videos now. Some reasonable. Some are like, ah, what the fuck? You just got caught up. But yeah. I'm making this video. Already zero out of ten. What the fuck is this audio coming out of my ear? Can you <laughs> side? To apologize. If you're wearing headphones, it's just coming out of one side. Because I fucked up. Because I'm embarrassed and ashamed. Yeah, you because should I be. Lied. And mm -hmm. I misled a lot of people. You're not sorry that you misled people. You're sorry you got caught the whole time. Oh no, I don't do this. I don't do steroids. No, I just eat raw meat. And just work out. That's absolutely it. Stop. This is a bullshit apology. And I'm seeing right through this shit. I don't believe it. You, you're you sorry that you got caught. A real man would have been like, yeah, I do physical enhancements. If you want to look like me, I do phys you, you're you going to have to do physical enhancements or you're going to have to do some type of surgery. Like, this is bullshit. Before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. Weird flex, but okay. The fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> this motherfucker is just flexing. And not just his abs. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, I am rich. <laughs> what the? Ah! Who told you to say that? Anyway, <laughs> no I used one. to be rich. And now I am even richer. Thanks to misleading my fans into buying my supplements. <laughs> Fools. You know what? If he, that's what he said, I would be like, holy shit. I love this man. He's Yeah, if you kept it real, been like, yeah. I got caught, but you guys made me a lot of money. Yeah, I'm on steroids, and I'm gonna still post videos and stuff like that. I would have been like, wow, what a piece of shit. But at least he's honest. <laughs> but no, I hate you. Never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. All right, God damn it, women. <sighs> oh my God, that's fucking cat, bro. You take fucking shirtless photos all day for like a month. I kept seeing your name on everybody's goddamn podcast with your shirt out, like your shirt off there's just stop stop you want you you were on like what jake paul's podcast you have a fucking video with you and hasbulla like what the like uh, no this is bullshit when two seconds between each line so in the leaked email he basically goes through how his goal was to blow up his channel get a million followers man what are those headphones man them shits look crazy what are those headphones that pewdiepie is wearing i like them but they're crazy. Like these are some high ass quality because he has a, a ox piece for each side. Like that's dope, but he's wired. I'm not, ha, I can do all this in my reaction. Can you do that PewDiePie? I don't think so. Goes through how his goal was to blow up his channel, get a million followers. He had a film crew and blah, 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 blah. So now you clearly plan for it as a way to sell your fucking products. Let's keep watching. It's fuck to navigate. Well, Clearly, I did it wrong, and I'm here Let's now see. to set the record straight. <sighs> yes. It's not a real apology video. Oh, shit. Started my outro. Sorry. I have the outro at uh, Shift C, and I use Shift X to first person. You know it's a real apology video when you go, <sighs> or, <sighs> or, <sighs> okay, guys. I'm sorry, guys. 
Okay, I just want to come out and say that I didn't mean to do this. That's how you know it's real. Real fake. I've done steroids. Okay. And yes, and? I'm on steroids, monitored and Good. managed by a trained <laughs> hormone clinician. I don't know much about steroids, but his fucking steroid. Why'd he make it so serious? The, what is it? His list looked like a fucking crafting thing from Fallout 3. Like, what the fuck are all these drugs? What the wow. fuck is all this? He's on testosterone. Um, that's all I know is testosterone. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Apparently, he spends 11,000 pounds per month. Lever King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day. I was about to say, if you want to look like him spending 11,000, now he's talking about suicide. What the fuck? Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves. Ow. While people are hurting at record rates with Ow. depression, autoimmune, anxiety. So how? Fucking stop. How? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good shit, Pete. Like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? How is the Liver King experiment to stop suicide? I was going to say he probably thinks his fans are idiots, but they didn't think he was on steroids. So apparently they are a bunch of fucking idiots. So he's supposed to apologize, but really it was all a noble cause. You know, I was trying to save lives. I was trying to People do better. Killing themselves. What's the, what's the message? I don't get Why it are you either. saving lives? <laughs> <laughs> the reason I made my other video, because I think people don't realize just how prominent oh, it is everywhere. for people to use steroids. It's everywhere. And it's one of those things. It's not just men either. It's females too. Like those super attractive females you see with the yoga pants. Some of them are on, you know, not, may not be steroids, but they're on physical enhancements. Some are on testosterone. Some are on this, some are on that. And they look beautiful. And you're like, wow, there's no way. Like she just works out. Like, no, she takes a little bit of drugs here and there. I mean, apparently it's working. You don't notice. You just think it's very beautiful and attractive. So it's working. Things that, you know, just like it's been talked about a lot, how women have body image issues because of comparing themselves to photoshopped images uh, and models and magazines as men were equally as susceptible. Yeah, him too. A lot of people think Michael B. Jordan was natural. All he said, yeah, I just work out, eat rice and, uh, what do you say? I, rice and chicken? Like, no, my man was on, he was on drugs and a lot of artists. A lot of movie artists are on drugs. Chris Hemsworth, the guy that plays Thor, he's on steroids. Whenever they're going to make a new film, he's on steroids. A lot of movie stars, when they need to bulk up or whatever, they get on drugs because it's easy. I mean, they're rich. They need to get this image for the movie. Why not? And they just lie about it because a lot of people think it's cheating whenever you take steroids to get the muscles. I don't think it's necessarily cheating, but it is an enhancement. It does help you. You can't just take steroids and immediately you get muscles like your Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. You have to go to the gym after you take the steroid. There's no just sit here, oh, wake up the next day, damn, I'm fucking jacked. Like, no, it does take work still, even if you take steroids. It's just easier once you get into the gym. But yeah, it still takes work. You still have to get up and go to the gym. It's not just simple like that. But at the same time, people don't think that way. They think, oh, you're taking steroids, you're cheating. I know a couple of people, as soon as I was talking about, man, maybe I should take steroids. They're going to be like, oh, well, you're not going to feel like you love your body because you cheated to get it. It's like, this ain't a motherfucking movie. I want my body to look how it looks, regardless how I get it. I get it and I got it. Like, it is what it is. A lot of people out here got, a lot of females out here got BBLs. A lot of them are like, scared to say it. Why? You paid for a bigger butt. The, the CEO of YouTube, Susan Wojcicki, she has a BBL. So what? It's normal. I mean, the BBL is not normal, but it's normal for people to get these types of surgeries. I live in Asia where you can walk across the street and get a, go to a plastic surgery place. I'm serious. Plastic surgery is super easy and everywhere in, in, in Asia. Thailand, South Korea, you go anywhere. You can get plastic surgery. You can get your nose done. You can get your eyes done. A lot of them, they get their eyes done so they don't have like the, the Chinese, like stereotypical Chinese eyes. They get that reduced or the Thai women, the Thai women have like a bigger nose. So they go get surgery to get a smaller nose. It's normal out here. Absolutely normal. Let's continue. 
people to that and to have a bunch of people you know in marvel films getting bumped yeah, there he is steroids very clearly very obviously to anyone that understands what it means to build muscle and then come out in interviews and talk about oh i just had to eat broccoli and rice it was bullshit. so tough for me which is just fucking dishonest and while also simultaneously market different programs chris hemsworth it markets his workout video routine whatever that he sells i don't fucking care and here we have another one where he's selling supplements that's really the reason i don't take steroids supplements i am saving lives here all these people trying to get like what the fuck are you talking about and speaking of supplements guys you don't need to take supplements to get bigger you can get big just drinking a protein shake and going to the gym you don't even need the protein shake. Just go to the gym. The protein shake just helps. Supplements help. Creatine, they help, but they're not necessary. You are the problem. You are not the solution. Low ambition in life. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution. Donate all your money. Who is this guy? Andrew Tate? That you made. You said you were already rich, right? I'm getting fucking worked up and we're one minute in. All right, let's just <laughs> I've been on. I'm not going to lie. It's hard to watch this, too. I literally was going to say, man, I don't even want to watch this. I just want to see PewDiePie talk about it. Several podcasts. And when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always mm -hmm. said no. What did you say? I don't touch the stuff. Not going to touch the stuff. Never touch the stuff. Mm. And why did you say that? There's no problem. Yeah, why is it? Why is that? That was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no one could tell just for like how weirdly defensive and whatever the sh you splurred out from then like let's watch that by the way because it's fucking funny dude i just want to know head, why you know face it head on i don't i don't touch this stuff i've never done this stuff i'm not going to do this stuff, never stuff. stuff. the the asshole steroids that he talks about you've never taken steroids never taken steroids i've never done peds other than prioritize execute and dominate in life i also just do want to say i think that him saying that is dangerous you know, I, I want to set the record straight. I would love the opportunity. <laughs> so, so him accusing you of taking steroids, which you do, you finally admitted to, is dangerous. But lying about it to your fan base that don't understand what it takes to actually look like you, that's absolutely fine. You're, you're a manipulator. You're using people. You're, you're going to say, no, I don't take steroids, but you can... Check the link below, and that's the stuff I do take. My own homegrown products, grass-fed this, grass-fed that. And you can look like the liver king like me with hard work, dedication, and taking these supplements. And go to the checkout. You get 10% off of this $140 purchase. Get real, dude. Get Joe real. Rogan called him out. He was like, yeah, that guy clearly is on fucking steroids. Joe Rogan openly admits taking steroids as well. <laughs> and his response is, that's dangerous for him to say it's a dangerous message to spread to who dude there's so many bits to to his bottom line that's who is dangerous for at the end of the day cheating doesn't scale it's not sustainable and it doesn't scale right and what i've achieved from a financial standpoint from a family standpoint <laughs> cheating doesn't scale i i, I can't stand listening to this shit. <laughs> i'm not a competitive athlete of any kind so who the fuck am i cheating cheating yourself Cheating your fans, cheating in life, because you wouldn't be on this platform if you didn't market yourself as the liver king, the guy that eats raw meat, and now he's super jacked. All he does is eat raw meat and work out. You cheated a lot, okay? It's not just, oh, I'm not a competitive weightlifter, so I'm not cheating anything. You're delusional. You're a manipulator, and you're a delusional. You might be a liar. No. You are a liar. Like, anything bad you could say about this guy apparently might be true. Uh, your entire audience. You built your entire brand around being natural, ancestral, living like the cavemen. I don't yeah. think the cavemen had all whatever this fucking shopping list Fuck, you no, have they is. Didn't. I don't... I, I don't know, but they didn't have Wi-Fi, and you are blocking Wi-Fi, so you are pretty much on point. You know what? <laughs> I convinced myself that this topic was a placeholder for a far more important conversation. I convinced myself that this would overshadow the 36 years of working out, usually twice a day, without- Stop, 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 stop. 
This guy's saying, yeah, I took steroids, but I've been working out for 36 years, twice a day sometimes. Like, it's, it's all hard work. Yes, but you would not look like this. Even in your 36 years of working out without the PEDs. You would not look like this. You would look smaller. You would, your, your fucking shoulders wouldn't be this big. Your traps wouldn't be this huge. Your beard probably wouldn't be this big either. Because I see you're taking testosterone. Everybody knows testosterone is the hormone inside the male that adds facial hair, body hair, just in general. Increases your sex drive, all that shit. You would not look like this. You might not even have your kid if you didn't take testosterone. Now, I'm just shooting shots. I'm just, shit, I'm just shooting shots, but I'm just saying. You would not look like this at all if you, took, if you, if you didn't take drugs. So stop with the bullshit. PE. See, that I actually believe. But the thing is, no, no one would give a shit. Anyone that's come out and said, hey, I, I take steroids. It's not like people are like, what? Oh, how dare you? How could you do this? Some people are like that. Let's not get it twisted. Let's not act like a lot of people wouldn't lose their shit if they found out Chris Hemsworth, like, or if they Michael B. Jordan was on steroids to become uh, Creed and all that. If Thor was on steroids, you don't act like a lot of those those females wouldn't be a little upset because we all know what comes with steroids. The the whole misconception: oh, you take steroids, your penis must be this big. You know, it's gonna ruin a lot of female fantasies, some male fantasies, but it's gonna ruin a lot of fantasies. So it's not necessarily true that nobody would care. There will be some people that definitely care, and usually those are the people you want to market to because they're gullible. No, if anything, people respect honesty, so it doesn't matter. This whole video, I would have been completely fine with if he didn't make it because he was caught. Like the emails was leaked, Facts. the response comes out. If he, for some reason, decided to feel like, hey, you know what, I don't like that lying I'm lying, anymore. I don't want to confess, I would 100% accept that and, and uh, respect that, honestly. But this is just so fucked. It's like, I got caught up, oh, well, I might as well just come out and confess. Lame. And I had convinced myself that this would be the wrong message to send to the 15 year old boys. No, to the little boys. He just cares about the you little don't give boys. A fuck about them. It was a noble. The 15 year old boys aren't the ones going to the checkout, spending that money. Oh, maybe they got their parents' card, credit card. But no, your your marketing is for the gullible people that don't know anything about weightlifting. That's like, oh, I could probably look like him if I just buy his grass fed product. Line. He had to. He had no choice. Yeah, he literally just dug himself in a hole. He didn't want to confess. Holy crap. So he had to go. We're, bro, we're eight minutes in. I've been talking for 22 minutes. This is crazy. Deeper and deeper. And I guess, yeah, in a way, he probably feels relieved now that it's out, but it's still so f stupid. I'm surprised to see this sentiment being spread so much. The fact that people believe he was natty is all mind boggling. <laughs> I can't. Some people are gullible. It's just how it is. Not everybody can just see the bullshit. Some people just take face value. If there was a murderer, oh, wait, there was. The name was Jeffrey Dahmer. When the police showed up, oh, no, there ain't nothing going on here. Okay, see you later, Mr. Dahmer. Man didn't get caught till like, what, the, the, like the 12th or 15th victim or something like that? People are gullible. They'll believe whatever you say. Depends on how high your charisma stat is in this MMO we call life. I can't believe people are so stupid. It's like most people haven't lift weights. They don't know Facts. how it works. It's Facts. not that weird that people have no clue that this is not natural. And especially if some people going around saying, no, it is natural. Yeah, They're for delusional. anyone that understands steroids and how efficient they are, yeah, it's pretty obvious. But for most people, it isn't. And that's how he's able to maintain this brand. And that's mostly because a lot of the celebrities, they don't say that they're on steroids. So a lot of people think Chris Hemsworth is natural. They think Michael B. Jordan is natural. They're like, damn, they look good. What do they do? And then they look at the interview. Oh, I just eat rice and chicken and I work out. Damn, rice and chicken for a year and just work out and I could look like him too? Oh, it's all natural. That's crazy. And then they'll see somebody like, you know, Ronnie Coleman, super huge. You're like, okay, that guy's on steroids. But Michael B. Jordan is nowhere near that big. Come on, guys.
rent. So I don't think it's that weird that people don't know. Steroids is so efficient. If you take it, you gain more muscles and by not working out and just taking steroids than someone actively working out and not taking steroids. That They're extremely efficient. I think it depends on the, the grade and the quality because you still have to go to the gym. What PewDiePie is saying isn't, he's not saying just take the steroid, don't work out, and you're going to just immediately just get big. That Maybe that is what he's saying. You know, I mean, he did just fucking say it, but that's not how it works. Even if you take them once, you have a huge advantage because True. it's easier to read. True. It. Once you take it one time, that's it. You As soon as you put steroids into your body, you have genetically transformed your body. There is no, oh, I only took it one time and I never did it again, so now I'm natural. No, there is no, oh, take it once. I, I haven't did it in 10 years, so now I'm natural. No, your body has genetically changed due to steroids. There's no going back. What? That's why I, you, when you think about steroids, you have to really think about the shit. You can't just, yeah, I take it a little bit. That's how I thought. I was like, I'll just take it a little bit. And then I went and I saw like 20 different videos. And then I read like two different articles. And I was like, yeah, this shit ain't for me. Build muscles that you have gained from steroids. And so you could say, no, I'm not on steroids. But if you've done it once, you're in a different category than everyone else as well. There's sure. a ton of health risks involved. He clearly sure. doesn't talk about any of those in this video. And uh, that's just the reality of it. 85% of the population that suffers from self-esteem issues. I'm part of that statistic. This is why I fucking work myself to death in the gym. You made it worse. If anything, you made the statistic worse by showing off your body, your beard, and saying, I, all I did was eat healthy and work out and ate raw meat. You're making it worse. Actively making it worse. This guy is a clown. This is why I do 12 to 15 blood burning workouts a week just to feel like I'm okay. No. Oh, oh, you're not, okay, you're not shifting the blame or anything. You're saying you're depressed. So you go to the gym so you feel good. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. No, I'm not buying this. I'm not buying a single fucking word he says, okay? So the reason he takes uh, uh, steroids or whatever the fuck is because he has low self-esteem. You don't... Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know. It's kind of hard to have low self-esteem when you're walking around with your shirt off all the time and you're making millions of dollars. I don't know if my, my self-esteem would be that fucking low if that was me. I'm just saying. I can't emphasize. I would say, yeah. I sometimes also have low self-esteem. That is not an excuse to take steroids. It's not an excuse to take steroids and it's not an excuse to mislead whoever you're following is. It's not an excuse. <laughs> if it is your excuse, it's a pretty piss poor excuse that only your fan base will say, ah, oh, man, it's okay. We still love you. That Dude, shout out to those people that are ride or die, but they're a bunch of idiots. You know what? If you just sense I want to take steroids because it's the right choice for me, Whatever the fuck, I would buy that. But this whole like, oh, I have low self-esteem. I have to take steroids. No, that's so fucking stupid. Facts. You're basically saying that anyone else with low self-esteem should take, has steroids. To take steroids too. But maybe and they'll I'm, make themselves feel better doing I, it. I know like, that doesn't equate, but you're talking about your audience being 15 year old and it's kind of the message that you're sending out. It seems so common, this topic of body dysmorphia for people that take steroids. Like I said, I, I think I have self-esteem issues sometimes. And I'll tell you what, I have zero self-esteem issues about the way I look. I look fucking good. This is what 0% body dysmorphia looks like. <laughs> All pure <laughs> G Fuel, baby. Code PewDiePie. I want to motivate... You really have G Fuel? G Fuel sponsor? How good is G Fuel? Honestly, I see this shit all the time. I'm guessing it's just sh like a sugar drink, a soda or some shit. Or an energy drink. Like five hour energy. I don't get why every gamer is taking G Fuel. Does it make you play better? Or just makes you stay awake? I don't know, but it's not for me. I'm not really in the sugar. I'm just a water guy. You made other people to work out as well. Not to look a certain way necessarily, but because it makes you feel good. I think it's dangerous to spread this message with, with steroids because ignoring all the negative effects from it, for me at least, I can't wrap my head around you're gonna have to become dependent on it right you know you're going to the gym and you see amazing progression because you're on steroids and it probably feels amazing but you're stuck in that cycle forever because sure. you're always going to want to gain more and more and more and more sure. and then there's a plateau for everybody 
it's and the plateau is sooner with natural bodybuilders. Like I said, I was in the gym for I've been in the gym for a year. I still go to the gym. It's just not as frequent. I was going every day, five days, five days a week. And I felt good. I was when I when I first started, I was like 240 pounds, 100 kilograms. And now I'm down to uh, 92. The lowest I ever got was uh, 89 kilograms or 100 and 100 and 180 or 179 pounds. That's the lowest I ever got. And then in like the past two weeks, I've gained about eight pounds, like five to eight pounds and it fluctuates from there. But my strength has also fluctuated from not going to the gym as much. And even when I was going to the gym five days a week after the year of doing it, my results haven't been as drastic. Like one week I go in there, my max bench press is 225. That's 245s, 225. Bam, easy, knock it out. And the week after that, my max is like 230. Knock it out, bam. Next week, I go in there, I'm struggling at 230, so I go back to 225. It fluctuates, man. It fluctuates when you're a natural lifter. When steroids, you see a steady growth until it plateaus. It's gonna plateau. It will. It will plateau. We're humans. There's no way for you to go up and start benching 30,000 pounds, and then the week after that, you're benching 35,000 pounds. It's just not a thing. It's not possible. You know, once you go off steroids, you're going to go to the gym and you're going to actually lose muscle. You're going to lose strength gonna, yeah. drastically. Once you do it once, you're pretty much you're trying stuck. to keep doing yeah. it. So it doesn't make sense for me at all. I respect people's choice to doing it. It's a mental trap. Once you start the steroids, you will see the growth. And then you'll plateau and you'll want to do more steroids so you can keep seeing the growth. And then on top of that, you'll start getting the compliments. You'll you start seeing people look at you like, damn, you'll hear compliments. You'll be like, damn, he looks good. He's big as fuck. Like this and that. And you mostly hear it from guys. If you're a guy working out, trying to look good for girls, a lot of girls aren't going to say it. You're going to have other guys be like, yeah, man, you look good. It's it, it, it's real. <laughs> it's real. But I forgot what I was saying. So listen, listen to PewDiePie. But I, I can't my head around it too. oh yeah yeah doing steroids um if you if you keep doing it you're gonna want to have to keep doing it you don't want to get the compliments and then next thing you know you're not getting compliments anymore be honest and his message here just fucking sucks above all else the loyalty notice how i'm pointing that down mean? you see man it must be nice to have like fuck like 10 percent body fat bro i'm stuck at like the the fucking I fluctuate between 50, 15 and 20% body fat, man. It sucks. I can't see my abs. I can see like the top two abs. That's the most I, the most I ever gotten was starting to see the middle row, but then I started working late. And so I started, the only thing that opened at, at late is McDonald's. So, you know, I started eating the McDonald's and then I went back to like 20% body fat and I lost my abs. And it's like, ah. I also don't even train abs that much. You don't really need to whenever you're trying to get your six pack. Sure. Train your abs. But you don't have to train your abs every single day. That's one of those um, muscles you don't really have to. And it comes down to body fat more than just, oh, how many sit-ups can I do? It's different. different and if he was parts. truly based, he would do the same. But of course, he's not. There is no parallax. It's only this line that matters. Now, if you, you want to get closer uh, to the mic, I can't hear you. Uh, watch some actual really good fitness motivators. I know that you guys are let down by the liver king. You're going to have to your new one. I got your back. Kyriakos Kapakulak, the GOAT. 100% big. Follow this guy instead. No fucking liver king. Right? Yeah, that's the difference between. Percent big. Follow that's the difference between weightlifting for aesthetic and weightlifting for strength. This powerlifting, you're not going to look. You ain't going to have no six pack. You're not going to look like no motherfucking liver king. You're not going to look like no motherfucking. Uh, what, what's his name? What's his name? Um. Can't remember his name, but he's a big YouTuber. A lot of people love him. They're like, oh man, he's so handsome, whatever. But you're never gonna look like that. If you wanna get strong, oh, this power lifting. This shit will make you strong, but you're gonna get a gut and all this other stuff because they eat a lot of calories. So many damn calories to keep the strength. Instead, no fucking liver king. Yeah, I rate this shit. apology a three out of 10. At least he came clean with some things, but in all in all, it fucking sucks. I'm giving it a 2 out of 10, and I'm going to give it an F tier. This video is sponsored by... Yes. You get three... Established titles. <laughs> it's your boy, Miss, and I'm out.
Peace. Wait, why is PewDiePie doing sponsorships? I guess he asked people to pay. I don't know. All right, I'm out. Bye.